It's your girl Alicia coming at you with a video showing you guys how I turn my Jace Beauty Russian Bidet hair from that 1B2 natural color that the hair comes in to jet black. Um, so I'm going to basically show you guys the process that I go through from washing the hair to dyeing the hair and letting the hair dry. So if you're interested in this video, just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, I'm just taking this time to take all of the items out of the dark and lovely soft sheen box. Of course, it comes with the cream developer and the natural black dye that you have to add to the developer. So you just add that um, liquid dye to the cream developer and you shake it up. Just shake, shake, shake until um, you get that smooth color consistency that you need and everything seems even and then you start applying it to the hair you can apply it several different ways however i chose to just lay my hair out on aluminum for you and just um take the bottle and just start applying it to the hair i did not wet my hair first my hair is totally dry so that's why it's in that wavy state which which wasn't as easy to apply as if the hair was kind of damp or or co-washed first um so i have to kind of spread the dye on the hair and then take a little brush and continuously apply it as well as use my comb to comb it through to ensure that I'm getting as much dye all the way through all of the strands of the hair. So um, I just continuously went through that process to ensure that all of the hair was covered in some type of dye and making sure that I get the tips of as the tips of the weft or as close to the wefts as possible because oftentimes when I get my um, extensions dyed that part still seems to be a be brown so I wanted to make sure that I got all the way up to the wefts so that's what I'm just basically showing you guys now and again you know just continuously work that dye through your hair because sometimes when you dye hair you miss some strands and some of the hair is black some of it is brown and it's really easy to do so I wanted to take my time and work through that hair dye all the way through by combing it constantly combing it um, adding more dye brushing it adding more dye combing some more and adding more dye so that's what I'm basically demonstrating at this time I also flip the hair over to the other side just to make sure that I am saturating this hair with this black dye as much as possible. I really did not want to um, miss any strands or have that highlighted look because I missed some I missed some strands of hair. So I really was trying to make sure I saturate the hair with the black dye by constantly going through brushing that dye on and really getting that hair as saturated as possible. Um, again, <clears throat> excuse me, I am flipping the wefts down to make sure that I cover as much of the hair at the tops that are near the weft as possible because we tend to miss that part when we dye hair so I'm just kind of flipping some of the wefts down and making sure that I get all of the dye on all of the hair so yeah that's what you see me doing adding that dye to the tops of, of the strands of hair that's close to the web I know in previous um, installs where I got my hair dyed I always notice that that tip part is kind of brown and that's the that's the part that's going to be closest to your natural hair so you if your natural hair is black you definitely want the part that's closest to your natural hair to be as black as possible so um, it blends properly my hair is pretty dark and and I put a black rinse on my hair often um, to cover up gray so I make sure that I really dye my extensions really well. Now I'm just washing. I waited about 
Um, I think I let the dye stay on for approximately an hour and then I just um, wash the dye out as the box instructed me to do is get the hair in a nice lather and um, rinse it out. It did not require um, a shampoo because I guess with getting the hair to the uh, a nice lather it was like shampooing the hair but of course I wanted to still um, add some additional shampoo so I'm using the cream of nature with argan oil shampoo to lather the hair and shampoo the hair again once I get the hair to a nice lather, I'm going to proceed to um, rinse the hair out really thoroughly. You want to make sure you get all of that shampoo out of your hair and rinse that hair out and wring that hair dry as much as possible. So that's what I'm showing here is just squeezing all of the excess water out. Then I just kind of flip my foil over and use that same for you to condition my hair so I just pretty much I do it really easy way I just pour the conditioner on I saturate it with conditioner and I let the conditioner sit on the hair for about an hour I think it's what I did I did about an hour and a half because I was working at the time so um, I did this on my lunch break I believe so I just let the conditioner stay on the hair sit on the foil and this is what the after effect looks like this is the hair air drying on a top a tile towel i don't know why i said towel funny but on a towel and this is the after effect after it dried you see the nice waves in this hair i added some argan oil as well but the hair dried beautifully it has a natural wave pattern and I'm just really excited about getting this hair installed. Okay, that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy my short little footage showing you guys how I turn my Russian Bidet hair from Jace Beauty to Jet Black. I am in no way a professional. I just, you know, read the instructions, watched a couple of YouTube videos in the past, and decided to do myself. I used to uh, pay my hairstylist to do it, but I figured why not save some money and just go ahead and dye the hair myself. So if you have any suggestions on ways that I can improve the process or you know some an easy way that I can um, turn my hair jet black, just leave comments below. If you have any additional comments outside of any suggestions, leave those below as well. Don't forget to subscribe and until my next video, you guys, deuces.